What's going on ladies and gents? How are you people doing here? So I'm bringing you people my first Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 commentary. That's right. So obviously I've been playing the game, you know, particularly the multiplayer for two days now. And so far I have a very positive impression of the multiplayer because I don't know about you people, but I think that the multiplayer is pretty uh, well balanced so far. Because after playing the multiplayer for the past two days now, I came to my conclusion that the multiplayer, I personally like it way more than Modern Warfare 29 for example. Now, when it comes to the 2019 Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer, as much as I liked it, I think that the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is on a whole nother level. And if I would have to give you people my honest rating of Modern Warfare 2, I would have to give it a solid 9 out of 10. I think that so far, Activision, they've done a pretty decent job of designing the multiplayer and releasing the game. A quick note on the campaign. Me, personally, I like this campaign way more than the campaign in Modern Warfare 2019 just because I feel like that the Modern Warfare 2 campaign was better in terms of storyline and I think that it had just uh, the right amount of stealth missions. Obviously for the campaign, I think that Activision did a great job of bringing back Captain Price and especially Far Off from Modern Warfare 2019. And my favorite part about playing the campaign here, first of all, would have to be the amount of stealth missions that Activision added to the game because I personally think that stealth missions are what make playing the Call of Duty campaign super interesting and just give you overall a fun vibe. Now, so far about the multiplayer, I think it's pretty decently balanced overall, but the only downside I have about the multiplayer is just whenever you try and spawn and they just rain down cruise missiles on you. That's really the only annoying part about multiplayer. But nonetheless, overall, I had a pretty fun experience playing multiplayer and all that stuff. And, you know, especially when I look at the map designs, my honest opinion of the map design so far in multiplayer is that they give me a lot of Valorant vibes, you know, in other words, meaning that the map has like corners on nearly every inch and just how you have to check a lot of corners whenever you go into territories, particularly enemy territories in multiplayer. That's why I'm kind of comparing the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer maps to the Valorant maps. Now, so far, the weapon I'm using here is the M4, where you unlock it in the early stages of multiplayer. And so far, in terms of me, you know, trying to rank up, the weapon I personally enjoy using the most is actually the M4 compared to the other weapons you unlock in the early stages of the game. Because the M4, it's a very reliable and useful gun. It's always been reliable in almost every Call of Duty game that I've played here. And for my secondary, I'm using the Bryson shotgun, particularly the Bryson 800. And from close range, that weapon packs an absolute punch. I mean, in the upper chest and torso area, it's usually a one-shot kill from very close range. And from medium and further distance, if you're in the range of an enemy, it sometimes takes you up to three shots just to kill an enemy. And what I've also noticed about multiplayer in some of the maps currently is that sometimes it takes forever just to find an enemy, especially when you're trying to play tactically. Because obviously, I noticed that Call of Duty multiplayer has changed a lot in the past, I have to say, maybe six years. In terms of the way the game is played, what I've noticed now is that in multiplayer, it's always best to play tactically. Because by playing tactically and not rushing the enemy so often, basically in other words, not just constantly rushing around the map, I guess that's the way how I survive the longest in multiplayer and win most of my gunfights without, of course, dying. Now, as much as fun as it is to use the M4 whenever you play a new multiplayer game, what I've noticed this year is that they added a lot of recoil to it. Especially whenever you're trying to engage with an enemy from a long distance, what I've noticed is that single shot or three round burst suits the M4 best. Because if you try and take down an enemy from long distance by just using fully auto, it's going to be pretty difficult to control the recoil of the weapon. But looking at the attachments right now, so for the attachments, I'm using the SZ Lone Wolf Optic. And for magazine, I'm using the 45 round. For underbarrel, I use the FSS Shark Fin 90. For muzzle, I use the Echo Line GSX. For barrel, I use the 11.5 TA. H4. And as for the Bryson 800, the barrel that I'm using is the 18 Demo Firewall, and for stocks, I'm using the FTAC Apollo. So yes, this is the loadout that I'm actually using now that I'm trying to rank up here, and so far, using these weapons with the loadout has really worked out the best, at least for me. And for online, obviously, the biggest thing I always ask myself is what tactics should I play just so that I can survive and not get killed by the enemy so quickly. And what I've noticed is that if you just stick with your teammates and 
you go and capture an objective if you're playing ground war for example and you find a spot where you can pick off the enemy and just have the enemy come to you at least for me i've noticed that that is the best tactic to use in multiplayer if you want to survive and win more gunfights and for lethal instead of going with a grenade i decided to go with a proximity mine just because your proximity mine i feel like in terms of allowing you to survive in multiplayer is your best friend because basically the proximity mine gives you like an extra defense barrier so that's why for a lethal loadout i recommend going with the proximity mine so let me know ladies and gentlemen in the comment section below what is your so far impression and experience with call of duty modern warfare 2 multiplayer so if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more content